Hello and welcome to another episode of Reprogram the Game. I am your host, Lynn Sanford, and in this video, I just want to go over real quick on starting investing where you currently are. You know, it's a lot of people that may be interested in getting started, maybe on the fence, scared to actually take that leap of faith. I'm just here to show you that I'm no different than you, and I still get nervous you know in um, certain aspects of it you know when you're actually in it in the middle of it in the heat of battle of it but it's really nothing to it it's just managing your um emotions so you could actually take part and i just want to kind of just some tips that i've kind of come across and i just want to share them with you first thing is getting in where you fit in the first thing we need to know and understand is that in every deal it consists of three pieces it's three things I don't care whether you're talking about real estate, whether you're talking about uh, buying businesses, you know, corporate takeover, stuff like that. Three pieces, the money, the expertise or that specialized knowledge and the hustle. Now, some people, they may have all three. Highly unlikely for a new person to have all three, but some people are all three pieces. But what you have to do, you have to bring at least one of those three pieces with you. So if you have the money, then you bring the money. If you have the expertise of specialized knowledge, then you bring that. If you don't have either one of those, then you got to bring the hustle. You know, so if you're talking about, so just to give a real estate example, in real estate, somebody has to find the deal. You know, there's all type of properties out there that people may be looking to sell. It may not have hit the market. It may be a person that wants to sell a business. You may have a baby boomer who, um, you know, is ready to retire. You know, not that the business is failing. The business could be doing pretty decent, but they just want out. You have to be able to find it before it gets sent out amongst the public, you know, because once the entire public knows about it, then it kind of gets saturated for that particular deal. Now you're negotiating and bidding against other people. Same with real estate. So if you can find those type of things before it reaches the market, then now you have an advantage. So some people are very good at finding deals. Some people are very good at finding money. Some people already have the specialized skill or the specialized knowledge. Actually finding a deal is a specialized knowledge, a specialized skill. You know, it may be a certain tool that you use or a certain site you know where to go to, or you may know how to send out a particular mail piece, different things of that nature, but that's the, that's the key money expertise or the hustle you're going to have to bring one of those three pieces to the table how do investors get paid investors in today in 2023 and going forward we get paid for what we know you know it's not my grandfather's era anymore my great grandfather's era where you got paid for brawn for strength going out strong back working hard this isn't that time anymore so now we get paid for specialized knowledge in essence that's how you get paid so investors get paid for having specialized knowledge that they can put to use in exchange for money the more demand that skill is that you have and the better you are at it the more money that you can command there's a law uh, law of compensation law of compensation states that your money will be in direct proportion to these three things to the demand for what it is that you do your ability to do it and how hard it is or how difficult it is to replace you. And if you really think about it, it got me to thinking. So when you think about a person that work at their job, is it a demand for what you do? You know, if you have a degree or a skill in something that is really not any demand, it's not all that much money that you'll be able to make. You know, conversely, if you have a in high demand, you know, like a professional athlete, let's say, or a plastic surgeon that does boob jobs or BBLs, that person is in high demand they have a high skill now if they're one of the best in the country one of the best in the world at doing that skill the money goes up the price goes up of what they can charge because everybody knows they're the best and if it's impossible for you to be replaced you know if you look at your job the, the particular job that you do or the particular job that i do if i'm only good at one thing but the person next to me is good at five different things it's harder for them to be replaced because if you replace them those five things that they do go away. So th that's the three you want to you want to be conscious of that. So as you're developing these skills, 
That's what you want to do. On our journey as investors, we have to develop and master high leverage skills, skills that we could put into the marketplace that are in demand that we can command a high price tag for. And I basically, I've turned my car into <laughs> Chevy University. You know, so like I, I love listening to AM670 to score. I'm in Chicago, so I like to listen to AM670. And um, during football season, especially. I, baseball season, hockey season, I'm turning it off. I don't even, I can't even listen to that. But during football season, and playoffs and basketball, I'm, I'm good with it. But really, NFL, I'm an I'm a NFL head, college football junk. Love SEC. But say that to say this. When I'm in my car, before I even listen to the score, I'm going to listen to some type of self-development or educational video. I'm going to learn something. I'm going to learn how to circumvent, how to, how to get around paying a high income tax. I'm going to learn how to find a property. Different things, different skills that I want to learn and master in my field is what I listen to. And I listen to this stuff over and over all day for hours upon hours upon hours. Then I come home and I do the same thing hours upon hours upon hours. A lot of people will come home from work, plop down on the couch, look at TV. I, I can't even do that. I have to accomplish something first. So when I come home, you know, get out of my work clothes, you know, sometimes I may take a shower, I may work out first, but then the next thing I'm plopping on the computer, and I'm getting on and I'm learning something. And I'm going to sit on that computer till about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Then I may watch an hour of TV, some movie I wanted to see or catch up on a program I like. But I have to earn that time first. And I earn that time by putting in work. Then I can reward myself with a treat. Um, it's just about creating new habits. You have to learn how to love it. How to learn how to love generating this new skill. I love it. Like... If I don't learn something new every day, I feel like I didn't accomplish something, you know, but then you have to take it and apply it. That knowledge alone isn't enough. You have to apply that knowledge. That applied knowledge is the key. And they say knowledge is the key. But if that was the case, librarians would be millionaires, right? You know, they're in a wealth of knowledge, but you have to take that knowledge. It has to be something that can be used in exchange for something valuable. And then you take it and you, you do the best you can with it and you become great at it. Find one thing that you like, that you love, that you can become good at and master it and become great at it, and you can write your own check. But you have to bring one of those three pieces to the deal in the process of while you're developing these skills. So you can earn while you learn. You know, you can still be getting paid off of the hustle while you're learning this expertise, high skill. That's the piece you want to be able to bring. But if you don't have it yet, then bring one of the other two pieces. Bring the money or bring the um, hustle while you're learning the high leverage skill. So here's the action step for you. Action step one, just simply start where you are at this particular point in time in your life. So when you first start now, the chances of you personally having everything that you need is remote. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with the resources that you currently have at your disposal. You know, you hear people all the time like, man, I need some resources, I need this. Well, you have some resources. You just have to do an inventory of it. See what resources you have at your disposal and use it. Use those. Start right there. So if you're a person and you have good credit, that's a resource. You know, you may need to just go get a loan, take out some money. You're going to have to take some kind of risk. Take out a loan, take out some money so you can actually do something with it. If you already have a lump sum of cash saved up sitting, that's a resource. Use that. If you already have knowledge or expertise about a specific topic, that's a resource. If you already have a skill, like I know people that are mechanics and you know how to fix stuff and that's a skill. You know, it's it's just um, in the property that we rehabbing right now, we put in for our draw. We just put in for our second draw, which is the rehab budget. So you actually have to spend some money up front, get the work done. And then once you complete the work, then you put in with the lender so they can reimburse you the money. So, you know, you okay, yeah, you said you were going to put appliances in. Okay, we put the appliances in. We did the kitchen floors. We did the hardwood floors. We put in the paint, uh, the, the recess cans. We did all of that stuff. Now we want to get reimbursed for it. The guy that comes the inspector, all he does is come and take pictures. He doesn't even know really <laughs> what he's taking pictures of. Like, we'll put in for what particular line items we want to get paid for. 
So this guy, he just comes, he's taking pictures. That's all he does. Then he sends his report to the company. That guy may get $100, $150, $200 per property that he inspects or take pictures. He's a basically a glorified photographer. It's all kind of jobs out here. You know, all type of skills. You just have to know what it is that you like and get in where you fit in. So if you already have that skill of expertise, use that. That's a skill. If you already have a large network of people that you know, then you could be a go-between, a, a, a connector. You can connect this person with this person. That's a skill. You can get paid for that. If you're a person with a lot of hustle or a go-getter and you just a move and a shaker, that's a skill. So start where you currently are with the resources you currently have at your disposal and start there. So this is the caveat, the part two of that. So if you're going to borrow money, get more than what you need. So if I'm going to uh, purchase some real estate, then, OK, if I say, OK, I'm going to need about 30 grand. Well, don't just go get 30 grand because you're going to run into some type of issue, some type of problem. You're going to need a cushion and a buffer. So if you only need 30, get 50. It's going to be minimal difference in what your monthly payment is going to be anyway. So I, I highly recommend getting more than what it is that you need. But the main piece is partnerships. That is the key. So that person is good at connecting. That's a partnership. So let's imagine if your person is good at finding deals, but then you have another person that has money and they don't know how to find deals. That's a partnership. So, okay, I'm good at finding them. You got the money. Let's put our two skills together. Let's put the money together with the finding of the deal. Let's do it. Evaluating the deal. That's a skill. So if you're good at seeing a property saying, man, okay, this property at its best ARV after repair value, 385, and it'll take us $100,000 to rehab it. That's a skill. So yeah, so basically that partnership, the key though is to find somebody that compliments you. Don't go find somebody that has the same strength that you got. You want to find somebody with a different strength than you have and with your strengths put together makes a complete package and then you each can learn from each other and you both are getting better in that process but that's partnerships is huge that's the wave of where this thing is going because it may be somebody that has an offer you know they may have a product and an offer but don't have a funnel don't know how to put a funnel together but if you know how to put a funnel together or if you have an audience they got an offer you got an audience put it together or vice versa you may have an offer and no audience go find somebody that has an audience and and get together like that or do affiliate it's, it's all different types of things but once you have that idea then you can go to somebody else with this idea and you can partnership the right idea is never lost on the right person at that right time so you just have to get out there put it out there in the world and and you'll find what you're looking for because the resources you need are always are already around you you know and and anybody that has money just sitting and you have a good idea just let them know like look man your money just sitting in the bank is losing value you might as well put it to use and let that money make money for you that's the purpose of money anyway it's a resource the purpose of money is to make more money put that money to use with your high leverage skill or your expertise or your hustle and 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 make money that's a we split it 50 50 or however you decide to chop it up it's perfect and like i say it doesn't have to be real estate it could be anything it could be a food truck you may be a good cook a good chef food truck a catering company uh, marketing e-commerce affiliate it's all different type of ways to make money all different type of ways more than one way to skin a cat you just have to find what it is your talent is what you're good at find somebody to compliment you partnership with it but bring one of those three things to the table, either the money, the expertise, or the hustle. Be, do, have. Now you'll hear be, do, have a lot. You hear people saying, I, I can be whatever I want to be. I could do whatever I want to do. I can have whatever I want to have. I just flipped it up a little bit because those three words encompass a lot. You know, and the way I can put it ultimately is we have to become the person that we can do the thing so we can have what we desire to achieve. We have to become the person that can do the thing so we can have what we desire to achieve. That's it. It's all about becoming 
a different person, a better person, improving. It's a it's an analogy I like to use. Um, somebody may say they want to eat some steak. You know, I got a taste for some steak today. And then they go to the refrigerator, open it up, look in the refrigerator, there's no steak in it. But did you put steak in the refrigerator? <laughs> if you didn't put no steak in there, it's not going to be steak in there. So the thing about it is anytime if you want to increase your income and income earning potential, you have to increase this level of skill, you know, that can command that type of money. You know, if you have the talent to stock a shelf at Walmart, that's going to command a certain amount of money than a person that has the skill to do surgery or to uh, engineer. Those are completely different skill sets. One skill set is designed to command a higher amount of money. That's the steak. So when you want to eat that steak, you have to develop a steak-like skill that's going to command the amount of money that would allow it. So we have to become that person that can do that thing that can command that amount of money so we can have what it is we desire to achieve. That's learning that high leverage skill. Until then, though, you have to leverage the talents and skill of other people to fill in your gaps. When you're new, you're not going to have all of what you need. And that's understood. And that's fine. But just find somebody, partner, and leverage their skills. When I did my first flip, got leverage my cousin's skill. Broker, leverage my buddy's skill. So that, that's, that's all it is until you are able to increase your skill set. Then you can fill in somebody else's gaps. And you can still partner in that way. So it, it never ends. It never stops. You bring what you bring to the table. They bring what they bring to the table. And that's a win-win situation. Partnerships are very key. And that's just it. I just wanted to shoot a quick little video just to kind of, that was on my mind. You know, I wanted to um, kind of put it, put it out there. I've, I've heard a few people, you know, saying that they wish they can do do it. And I'm telling, like, I got an engineer, a uh, guy that works with me. He was, you know, like, man, I wish I can, I can do that. You can do it. You just have to do it. That's all we learn by doing. You know, you can get all the education you want. You can go to all the courses you want. You can take all the classes you want. But at the end of the day, you got to take that knowledge and you got to actually get out here and do something. You can write in all the journals you want to write in. You can do all of the affirmations. I do all of that stuff. But at a certain point, you have to do. We learn by doing. Just get out there, man. Jump on, jump off that ledge. Get out there and just do it. That's it. I'm just here to spark that thought. Give you the keys to the door so you can open those doors. But it's up to you to open those doors. And as we go through this journey, I'm going to have a whole lot of nice content for you guys. I'm, and once we finish this rehab, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to do an interview with my partner. It's just I got a lot, of, a lot of nice stuff I got in mind to do for you guys. But if you found this, you know, educational, if you learned something, if it helped you, that, that's my ultimate goal. I want to help people. That's it. I'm here to serve. I want to help people. So if you did get something out of this, go ahead and like it, share it with somebody else who you think it can help and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I say peace and I'll see you next time.